The customs duty for wheat flour, which was at 16 rupees, was reduced by 3 rupees, and the government yesterday decided to remove the concession. A concession of 3 rupees was provided for wheat flour through the customs duty. We imposed that 3 rupees once again. The main reason for this is because wheat flour is the largest substitute for rice. We have a responsibility to protect our paddy farmers. 90% of paddy farmers are dependent level farmers. Therefore, they must be protected and they must be given a fair price. That is why the 3 rupee customs duty concession was removed. There is no reason for the price of wheat flour to increase as a result. However, Chairman of Essential Food Commodities, Importers and Traders Association, Nihal Seneviratna, said the price of one kilogram of wheat flour was increased by 10 rupees due to the removal of the tax concession and the increase in other costs. As a result, the wholesale price of one kilogram of wheat flour was increased to 210 rupees today. Although News First attempted to inquire into the matter with wholesale traders in PETA, most traders were unwilling to comment on it. We only found this morning that wheat flour prices were increased. How do we survive? We woke up this morning to find that wheat flour and rice prices were increased. This is what the Magen Ratata movement had to say on the matter during a media briefing held today. <laughs> The 3 rupee tax concession on wheat flour was removed yesterday. How was the price of 1 kilogram of wheat flour suddenly increased today after the tax was increased yesterday? Shouldn't the Consumer Affairs Authority look into how many stocks were imported and sorted during the time the tax was reduced? While the Consumer Affairs Authority has not done this, if stocks were imported in large numbers while the tax was reduced and the prices suddenly increased the day after the tax was increased, that is clearly a mafia. We have suspicions over who is behind the increase in prices of essential food items.